and this is the fast track. It can be very hard to find a career that's fulfilling. Some people know they aren't content with their job, but are at a loss when it comes to choosing a new profession. Let's ask people on the streets of New York about finding a career that's fit for you. Uh, I think it's important to find something that makes you feel creative. You have to go out there and research it. On every free second that you have, explore and try to find something that really interests you. And then I would say that it's not going to be easy. Let's ask an expert. Joining me now is career counselor Eileen Chiraga. Great to have you here, Eileen. Oh, great to be here, Anna. So I wanted to talk to you about the fact that there's so many recent college graduates who don't really know what to do with their careers. And there's a lot of people going down a professional path that they're just, they're not content with it. So what advice do you have for people to find a really good career fit? Finding the right career fit means understanding yourself very, very well. That and can be hard to do, though. Yes, it can be, but there are four parts to understanding yourself. Personality, your skills, your values, and your interests. When I talk about personality, I'm talking about things like, um, do you like to start projects or do you like to complete projects? Are you goal-oriented or are you process-oriented? Those things are more revealing than simply saying, what are you good at? Right, I like law, I should be a lawyer. Exactly. Skills are roles we play in life um, or in work. So some people um, like solving analytical problems, some people like to manage um, people, some people like to manage projects, some people have good organizational skills, or maybe they're just a creative spirit. Now, interest, is the stuff that we're interested in. What's the subject matter that you love? Is right. it sports? Is it the environment? Is it education? When you walk on the street, what do you notice naturally and organically? Do you notice the architecture? Do you notice the, uh, the fashion, the business, the children, the automobiles? All things that tell us what we're interested in. Values are important needs we have. Can you explain that? Yes. Unlike our personality and our skills that usually don't change throughout our life, our values do change. We need some criteria for decision making and very often that criteria comes from our values. Status is very important or power or Obviously, for some people, money is a driving force, but for other people, helping society is a driving force. Thank you so much, Eileen Chiraga. Thank you very much, Anna. And we want to hear from you, so if there are topics you'd like to see, email us at fasttrack at foxbusiness.com. I'm Anna Gilligan. Until next time, stay on the Fast Track.